What is up, you guys? It is the Bolt Briefcase from Waterfield Designs. I did the backpack in a previous video. Where'd that sucker go? If you like this bag, you're gonna love the backpack. The backpack is one of my favorites ever. And honestly, this thing's super dope too. So if you're more of a briefcase kind of guy, it does feel stylish to walk in to the club with the briefcase going like, oh, hey, Daryl, how's it going? How are you? Oh, that's terrific. And how are the kids? Oh, really? That big? Got a dope look for catching up with Daryl, man. So I'm gonna walk you through every nook and cranny on this bag, but really quick, here's my gist on this bag. First of all, it comes in multiple different sizes, all right? So check out, uh, you know, which one is right for you. This I think is their medium size. I'll, I'll make sure that you know in the title of this video or in the description uh, exactly what size this is. Obviously, if you get a different, if you get a size that's like too big or too small, it's not gonna feel as good to use. It's like Goldilocks, man. You're gonna get to the run that's like just right. And this bag size is pretty much just right for me. It's right on the nose. This bag carries a little bit smaller than the backpack. So I would say I wish there was just a tiny bit more space for me personally as I've used it the last several days. Um, but at the same time, it's everything I need to fits. It's just I need to get basically the gist is I need to get my water bottle out of this sucker as soon as I get to where I'm going, then I can get everything easily. Everything fits, but in the very, like the water bottle does take up some important room in there and it's hard to get to my stuff when that's in there. The backpack, if you remember, had a water bottle, external water bottle pocket. This one doesn't, it doesn't have an internal water bottle pocket. I just put my water bottle inside. So that's number one is you wanna make sure you get the right size. To me, it's basically the perfect size. Um, this medium one is the perfect size for my daily use. And that's a design feature, right? That's a feature of this bag. It's not too big, it's not too small. Second of all, you're gonna notice these dope, ass materials. A lot of you searching for this bag were like, I would like to learn more about the Waterfield Bolt Messenger bag. You might not understand uh, what the concept of dope ass materials mean. What I'm getting at is it's really well made. The fabric, the waxed canvas feels so nice. The leather, which I think is like a bison leather, feels so nice. That also shows up on the back or the bottom and the sides of this bag. The little, the little designs and the features, oh, hold on, I'll, I'll hold myself on that. The strap, the the strap and the leather and the little like the grippy, like grippy rubber thing here, all of it is really, really nice materials and very well constructed. Third of all, excellent organization throughout. These guys make some of my favorite organization and the, the same thing with the backpack. I said that about the backpack. The same thing goes here. It's basically the same organization, just a little bit of a different setup. I love the kinds of pockets, where they are, the sizes of them, all those decisions that they've made. Place for me to put my uh, papers. You know what I'm talking about, coming soon. Really, really wonderful, well-designed, thoughtful organization in this bag. Now, finally, point number four here. Every time you use this bag, Every single time you reach down at the coffee shop to pick it up. Every time you leave in the house and you need to, oh wait, I need to put this thing in here and to take it to Sam at work. Every time you're like just loading yourself up to head out to the office or you get back home to the home office and you, un where's my reading glasses and you get the things or whatever. Every time you use it, you're going to be feeling a really quality, well-designed object. And that to me is a huge upgrade, as opposed to just grabbing a Tumi or a, a Samsonite or a, a OGO that you got at a conference. This is so much nicer looking and it is, uh, it is really, really lovely to use because it's got dope materials, because it's really thoughtfully designed, and now every time your little fingers blind in the early morning as you wake up to get into the office, reach down and you hold those handles, you're gonna feel those goddamn handles, and they are so quality feeling. You're gonna undo the zipper, you're gonna feel the leather, stra the leather strap that you pull to do that. Reaching in, you're gonna be putting your like, computer charger or your whatever, grabbing and pulling your computer out. Like all of it just feels really quality on a bag like this. And I always say that's one of the best ways you can upgrade your life is just by getting a, 
a daily carry bag that really makes you feel that way. It's thoughtful, it's well-constructed, it's honest. The people who made it knew what they were doing. Okay, so those are my, that's my gist on this bag. I love this bag for that kind of stuff. Now, putting this sucker on, uh, it has a it has a pretty nice strap. This leather thing is really nice. It's buttoned and it, and it can come off if you want to. Uh, it sits on your shoulder and it looks good on your shoulder, but also it's functional. I mean, it doesn't slide off at all. Here's the size of the bag. Roughly, I am about five foot 10 inches, okay? It looks good like this. Let's see if we can get it. I've got it cranked up pretty high, but I sometimes will need to like ride the bike and do something like this. This, uh, it's a good look, man. It's a good look. Okay, so let's just look quickly around the outside of the bag. First of all, these handles, they feel great. When you hold the bag, it's perfectly balanced. All right, and then you've got those leather bits on either handle, and uh, it's just dope. It feels really good, this handle. Second of all, the bottom, you've got that leather. It feels really nice. Look at this thing. I mean, it's standing up by itself. That's like fully packed. I haven't set that up, just like I haven't changed anything so that it would. Stands up by itself, no problem. The Bolt backpack does basically the same thing. On the back, you've got this guy, which you can put your luggage through, right? So for carrying on your luggage, these guys are smart. They thought about you, man. You got to, uh, you got a place for your, um, your papers, your business papers, man. That's where I've thrown my, uh, my notebook. Just throw that right in there. Can grab it anytime. I love, I honestly love pockets like this. It's really accessible. It's up against my body when I'm walking. I mean, someone can steal my notebook if they want, I guess. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, actually, it'd be really sad if someone stole your notebook. But that's what I put in there. On the front of the bag, you've got two magnet pouches. I love these guys, actually. These feel really solid, and when they click down, I don't know, it's just one of those little satisfying moments that you get with this bag. I was like, oh, let's get in and get my headphones. They're easy to get into. It's easy to grab out of, all right? Feels good. Same thing on this side. I don't have anything on my left side. I normally don't need to carry anything in that pouch when I'm using this bag. Behind those two pockets is a zippered item. Okay, nice zippers on here, by the way. I mean, they just they just feel like the right size. They feel good. And while we're at it, you can see this yellowy, mustardy, orange lining. It's a really nice lining inside of here. Same thing as the Bolt backpack, okay? Nice lining. If you wanna learn more about these materials, I pretty much gush at them about them in length in the uh, Bolt backpack video, which I'll put a link to in the description below. Inside of this pocket, is a perfect size for my sort of dongles, what I call my always need you, I never wanna see you. Inside of there, I've got all my cables, extra cables, a spare pair of headphones, a headphone splitter, dongles that I need to connect my Mac to a uh, to literally anything. Some chapsticks, some earplugs, you never know when you need to take a nap and you need some earplugs. This is a pouch that I got from Dayfarer Designs and it's made specifically for that bag, which a video is coming soon about. And I like the size of it for uh, for carrying those cables. So that fits right there in that nice zippered pocket. Another thing that's really nice about this bag, nice subtle branding, leather with embossed, uh, I don't know if it's embossed, is embossed when you go down or is that when it comes up? Pressed into the leather, looks really nice. Their little Waterfield logo. Okay, so let's open up the bag, but first of all, check out the zipper. It has a water resistant seal. It's not waterproof. You can't submerge it in water. In a serious rainstorm, you'll still get like weather in there, but you're pretty dang well protected from the elements. On that note, this wax canvas is very water repellent because it's sealed with wax. And over time, you can add wax to it. You can melt it back into it. It's really dope. I love wax canvas as opposed to like bigger, heavier leather bags. I'm As much as I love the feel of these leathers, it just doesn't feel like a, um, a real sustainable way to be making bags. So I like canvas. It feels more sustainable and it feels more honest. And, and honestly, I don't sacrifice anything. It's still really, rugged, it's still really weather resistant. I love that. Okay, so we open up our zipper here and inside, let me see if I can get you a sense of our size in here. All right, look at that. Doesn't that look great? There's like so many different things. You've got two pouches right here, okay? So right when you open the bag, 
you can you have access to those pouches right there. They're boom, right there, super easy. I put my MacBook charger in one of them. I keep a couple pens in, the, uh, in it as well. And then in the other one, I put my glasses case and my spare hard drive where I keep a lot of my work files, especially all my video editing stuff. This is a, this is a really fast hard drive. I'll put a link to it in the description in case you're interested. It's a dope external hard drive. Okay, so those are those two pouches right there on the top. Inside one of them, you do have a uh, little key, a nice little key hook thing that you can click into. Again, somehow this feels quality. I don't, I don't know how this feels quality, but in the context of this bag, this is like, yeah, I'd like to snap my keys into that. It's just kind of nice. These pockets do not have Velcro on them. On the backpack version, they do. I'm not sure why. Probably because they're so close to the top of the bag on this one that the zipper actually keeps the contents stuck inside there more so than the backpack. Then uh, in the back, you've got your laptop compartment. Let's see, you got your laptop compartment, all right? Put that over there, which is the back. It fits my 15 inch MacBook easily. And then you have a large, an extra large kind of uh, tablet pocket, which I put my uh, iPad Pro in and it fits perfectly, which doesn't ever happen. You can see the black in there. It's this soft sort of felt padding in there. That's that's not like, it's not like gonna protect you from dropping off a building or something, but it's got a nice padding to it. Okay, so the only other things in there are my water bottle. Okay, pull that guy out and my headphones, which I have in a little pouch just to protect them because they're sort of delicate. Okay, so there's your capacity on this bag. All right, plenty of space for throwing in. Well, you know, you might carry less stuff than me. I have to bring these headphones, which end up taking quite a bit of space, but I do it because I spend so much time with the headphones on editing video and I really need to hear, you know, what's actually happening. Now, the only other two bags I can compare this to are first of all, this one from Filson, the 20 or the 72 hour briefcase from Filson. It's one of my pre, I mean, I, I still like, this is, this is really my jam. I love the look of this. I don't go into boardrooms very often. I'm not much of a, you know, Nordstrom rack shirt wearing kind of guy. That feels like if you're living that life, this is gonna fit really well. For me, it's this, I like this thing a lot. This like, you know, go watch the video review on this. You'll see, uh, I'll put it in the information or something. You, you'll see, I get really kind of gushy over this bag. I've got this weird mustache and, and like flavor saver and I'm talking about a Hemingway. Cause that's what this bag makes me feel. And honestly, I. I I just still, I still love this bag. And then there's the, for a little more of a fresher, younger vibe, there's the Topo Mountain briefcase, which also works as a backpack. Now I've always used this as a backpack, I love it, but you can attach straps to this if you need to do over the shoulder. I feel like this is a very interesting look for doing that like sort of startup executive vibe as well. This is definitely more buttoned up. This is a little more like I wore my tennis shoes. Okay, y'all, that is the Bolt Messenger bag from Waterfield Design. Some of my favorite well-designed bags come from these guys because they're just really considered. You can use the link below and it will support the channel. If you purchase the, if you purchase that bag because you watched this video, please use my link below. It helps to support the channel sometimes, not actually with these guys right now, but maybe in the future. So just do so anyways. If you wanna support the channel, it's like giving me a thumbs up. It's better than a thumbs up. But while you're at it, you could also give the video a thumbs up. I think YouTube, I think YouTube likes that. I do bag videos like this all the time. I do reviews of this and other products. So please, please, please uh, subscribe, say what's up and uh, let's, uh, let's get to know each other a little bit. If you'd like to know about more bags, more work bags, I'll put a link in the description below to bagworks.co. That's my website where I have all my current recommendations for bags across the board, gym and work bags, or just like business casual bags, daily carry bags, uh, uh, one bag travel bags. So check out bagworks.co. And if you haven't yet, get on the email list there because I'll be doing some giveaways and other things on the email list there in the future. So sign up, I'll never spam you. That's not how I will make a long-term living doing this thing. All right, y'all, be good to each other. Be good to yourself. How's your soul? How's your goddamn soul doing, man? Honestly, you in pain? You feel good? Is your life going all right? I hope you're doing well. I'm rooting for you and uh, you know, Treat yourself kindly. Talk to you later. I've been Chase Reeves. Bagworks.co ChaseReeves.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, I guess so.
Hmm. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice. 